Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing yet again another results video from doing Chloe's 25 day hourglass challenge. Now if you haven't heard about this challenge, it's 25 days to target your waist and your hips and your butt to give you that hourglass figure. Um, I'm so so excited to be sharing with you guys my results because I am super 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 happy with them. It was 25 days of hard work so um, yeah. I am going to be sharing them with you. So before I show you guys my results, I just want to ask that you please do watch through the entire video. I do get a lot of questions in the comments, or at least through my previous workout challenge results videos, questions about what type of workouts I did, um, for how long, um, what time of the day I do my workouts, and also a lot of questions about my diet, if I go on diets, etc. And I do try to answer these questions as quickly as possible. Um, and I do try to answer the questions or speak about them at least in the videos as thoroughly as possible. Um, so for the interest of your own time, instead of waiting for me to respond or other people to respond, please do watch through the entire video and don't just skip to the results section. Although I do really appreciate um, you taking your time to watch this video as well. So please don't take this as um, me kind of being rude or anything. I just really want you guys to progress through your journeys and I think sharing as much information as possible about mine can help you for any of you out there who do have the same body type as me, etc, etc. So um, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys my results. Okay, so this is day one. I'm going to measure my waist and my hips. So currently on day one, my waist is 26 inches. So basically, after I finished off with the two week challenge, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down in the description and as well in the suggestions above. But now my hips are 36. I don't have my measurements from the very, very beginning, but this is what they are right now. And this is what my body looks like. So my butt isn't really like flat, flat, but it could use a lift and I could build it up some more. Okay guys, so I just finished the first workout. Um, I'm kidding. I finished the second workout I'm on day two. Um, and very sweaty as you can see. Um, I just measured myself, so we're at 26 and then 36. So about a 10 inch difference. And we're looking to increase that. So, or at least increase the hip region, cinch the waist some more, so we can get that hourglass appearance. So that should be exciting. Um, I will check back in with you guys in about, I want to say halfway through this workout schedule, so day 12 probably, and I will show you guys my results if I have any at the time, and hopefully there is, so I will see you guys then. This schedule is, I find, a little bit more relaxed than the two-week one, but that makes sense because you have like basically a whole month to achieve the results that we want, but after the two-week one, I'm starting off pretty happy with the way that I look but I there's always room for improvements I feel like so hopefully that I'll be able to do that in a month's time so yeah I'm excited so it's currently day 12 I just finished my workout I'm going to do my measurements um, just by the look of it I feel like nothing really happened I feel like I more toned but i don't think i've lost any inches or gained any inches on my hips yet so we shall see i'm gonna measure myself though so hope for the best I was right. I will check back in with you guys in two weeks from now, in 25 days. So, oh no, at the end of the 25 day challenge. So yeah, 
Fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully it works out. We shall see, though. Okay, so we made it to day 25. Just right off the bat, I can see there is a bit of a difference in my waist and in my hips. So I'm going to do the same thing and measure it again. So now that I've measured, it is now 25 inches and that calls for a happy dance. Now, something to mention, probably TMI, but I am on my period, so I am a bit bloated here. Anyways, I'm going to struggle to measure myself again, <laughs> um, but my hips come out to be 37 inches, so I am, again, super happy about that, so here's another happy dance. So now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of more of an up close and personal type of view. Um, so yeah, we can see, or at least I can see a pretty big difference in how my butt looks. I feel like it looks more lifted um, and I just, I don't know, I'm really happy with my results. I feel like after doing these workouts, my waist and the size of my hips and my butt now give me more of an hourglass figure, which was basically what the program is for. So yeah, that's basically it for the butt. Okay, so just to show you guys what my abs look like, it's basically the same as before, maybe a little bit more toned, um, but yeah. Now I'm going to explain to you guys some more in-depth information about what I did for this workout challenge. Alrighty, so if you haven't heard about Chloe Ting's 25 day hourglass challenge, I'm going to break it down for you. It's basically a workout that's going to target your waist, your hips, and your butt to kind of give you that hourglass figure. So it's going to help reduce your waist and then round out your hips and I guess lift and grow the butt. Um, and so basically it consists of like five to six maybe seven different types of videos that are gonna target those three areas and every single day it's going to target a different area or sometimes you get a mix of one or two um, and it just rotates throughout each day for the basically 25 days. Um, so in terms of what I did to make it harder for myself because after the first week you'll realize that um, it's gonna become a little bit easier um, doing the workouts. So. What I used, obviously, as she mentioned, to kind of help progress through the workout is to add more resistance. So the first week of the challenge, I used just the lightweight band, and then the second week, I used the medium band, and then on the third week, I used the heaviest band, and then on the last week, to make it extra hard for myself, because I didn't want to repeat the same thing as I did the week before, to double up on the bands. So I basically used the heaviest band on the inner side and then put the medium band on the outside um, to, again, provide more resistance. That's something that she mentioned um, that you needed to do um, to kind of make it harder for yourself and to challenge yourself and to help you build more muscle on the booty. So yeah. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna kind of explain to you guys is my diet. Now I get so many questions about my diet in previous videos that I've done and I always say in the videos that I eat normally and I don't change anything about my diet um, and I guess that's extremely vague. So I thought in this video I'm going to better explain what I eat, etc. I'm also going to be posting a video on Sunday about kind of what I eat in a day so stay tuned for that. But basically I always get questions about what type of diets I go on, etc. But I really don't go on any diets. I don't go on calorie deficits. Um, I don't do keto diets, intermittent fasting. I don't do any of those things because I don't think, for me, it's personally not necessary. Um, but normally what I eat is relatively healthy. I try not to indulge in a lot of unhealthy foods, um, but not to say that I don't eat and indulge in unhealthier stuff. I do like brownies, I do like cookies, 
I do like pizza, I love bread. I love, love bread. Don't even get me started. But yeah, no calorie deficits, nothing like that. Um, I'm a firm believer that especially in the beginning with your fitness journey is to go on a calorie deficit right away. It's gonna be really difficult on your body, um, on your mind as well to kind of not eat all of these unhealthy stuff. So um, I'm always going to try to slowly ease into things. Um, but the first thing I always like to think of is just eating as clean as possible, um, maybe going a little bit under than what you are normally supposed to eat, but nothing too drastic because it is very, Hard on your okay, so before I close out today's video, I just want to mention something really important um, that I really hope you guys take with you before you leave this video, and that is basically that everyone's bodies are different. No one's progress is going to be exactly the same as the next person. We are all made differently, so maybe one person will lose weight faster than another person, someone will gain weight faster or build muscle faster than the other. Um, so please don't take it or but don't be too hard on yourself when it comes to um, your results and comparing yourself to others. I wanted to make this video to kind of motivate you guys out there um, who may be on their fitness journeys or starting their fitness journeys to keep pushing through and to keep going. Um, with hard work and dedication, you can reach your goals. So please, please, please do take this as some sort of motivation for you out there um, to keep on going. So yeah, please don't be so harsh on yourselves. I know a lot of people who can, you know, spend a very small or shorter amount of time to achieve results, but others who may take longer, including myself, um, to reach where I want to be. So please, please, please don't be so harsh on yourselves. Alrighty, so that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found this somewhat motivating um, and that you guys embark on this 25 day hourglass challenge as well. Um, leave a comment down below if you guys are starting on this challenge too. I'd love to see your results as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like. And of course, if you'd also like, subscribe to my channel by hitting that red button down below. And I will see you guys on Sunday where I will be sharing with you kind of what I eat in a day. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!